Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another weekly vlog. It's Monday morning right now and well, it's actually Monday afternoon right now and both of the kids are napping. I just got a nice shower and I'm just getting ready to pick up the house a little bit, do some laundry. I need to get something to eat, all of my normal, you know, things. Um, it was a very good and full weekend. We um, launched our Etsy holiday line last night. And uh, so it was a just a lot to get that going. That was 155 listings, which is just enormous. Anyone who has had an Etsy shop knows how long just one listing takes. And I had 155 in this line launch. And so I just was up late every night of the week getting it ready to be launched. Riley was sewing out samples and making sure that the files for embroidery and the screens for screen printing and all of that was like just so. And uh, it's just been just a huge, enormous undertaking, but it launched last night and it's been super successful so far. So if you placed an order, thank you from the bottom of our hearts. So I went to bed last night and I was just bone tired, that kind of tired that's beyond like physically tired. I just, my brain was just so tired, um, but I got actually a really good night's sleep. The kids didn't wake up until a little after seven this morning, which was amazing. Um, so we all got some good rest last night and that is wonderful. It is a beautiful, beautiful fall day outside and it's supposed to be gorgeous pretty much all week. So once they wake up from their nap and we do some lunch, I think we're gonna go out to the playground or one of the local lakes and play on the beach of the lake, something outdoors for sure, because it's just, it's too beautiful to stay inside all day. So we will definitely do that. But while they're napping, I'm going to get a few things done. I just wanted to say, Hello, happy Monday, and welcome to another weekly vlog. Colin's birthday is next week, and he'll be one, so we just decided we might as well just keep it up for the full year. This was put up September of last year <laughs> in preparation for Colin's birth, which my due date was a couple of days ago, a year ago, so it's crazy. He's going to be one on Tuesday. Can you believe it? So in a recent vlog, I was talking about skin cycling, which is when you on a four day basis cycle the types of products that you use on your skin and how it has made such a difference in a, in a compilation with other things like eating cleaner, lots more water, especially lemon water. And I am not nursing as much. And I think my hormones are leveling out, but my skin hasn't been this clear for this long in years. Um, and so I had several people reach out and ask for more information about skin cycling because they had not heard of it. It's something that I found online and I decided to give it a shot because I was tired of hormonal adult acne and it really has worked wonders for my skin. So let me show you specifically the products that I am using for this. There are so many different types of products that you can use and you can do your own research and find what's gonna work for you, but this is what's been working really well for me. Okay, so the deal with skin cycling is you do two days a super gentle cleansing. You're really nourishing your skin, moisturizing your skin. So that's days one and two. Day three, you use a chemical exfoliant. And so I've been using salicylic acid based products. So I will show you those in just a second. And then on the fourth day, you use your gentle stuff, but you add in retinol. Um, and then you go back to day one. So gentle, gentle, exfoliating retinol, gentle, gentle, exfoliating retinol. And it's a four day cycle. Um, so on days one and two and on the retinol day, these are the products that I've been using. They're both really gentle, milky, hydrating, nourishing products. This one is a drugstore option. It is the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. I love it, I really love it. And um, this one is a more high-end version and it's the Dermalogica Ultra Calming Cleanser. They both have worked great for me. So those are, that's what I'm using on days one, two, and then on the retinol day. On the exfoliating day, I have been using the Dermalogica Microfoliant, which is like a powder, but you are supposed to add water to it. You put a little powder in the palm of your hand and you add some water to it, and then you vigorously rub your palms together to make it into a foam. You are not supposed to use it as a physical exfoliant. It's meant to be a chemical exfoliant and it is salicylic acid base. I've used this for a long, long time. I really, really like it. Um, and that is, again, that's like a Dermalogica brand. A drugstore version is this Clarifying Acne Cream Cleanser by Cetaphil. 
or Cetaphil, and um, it is, again, salicylic acid. This one's worked great, too, um, so I've used both of those and both of these for the exfoliating. Every single day, every night, I use the Dermalogica Super Rich Repair. I am completely obsessed. It is a pretty penny, but I think it has transformed my skin. I have very dry skin, and I totally love this stuff. Um, and so it's a pump, and you just use a little bit of the pump. So I use that every single night, and then every single day, I use the Dermalogica Intensive Moisture Balance. The retinol that I am using is over the counter and it is called Differin. Um, and so you can order it online or pick it up, you know, with a grocery pickup or you can pretty much find it anywhere. Um, and you just use a little pea sized amount. And since you're only doing it every four days, this probably would last you at least about a month. Um, and so that's what I'm doing. So, like in the morning, I will cleanse my face with one of these two. Today was, yesterday I did retinol. So today was like a, gentle day. So um, I used this in the shower this morning and then I put on um, some of this and then I'll do that again tomorrow and then I'll do this and that and you get it. Um, so I will link all of these products below if you're interested in checking them out and kind of seeing about this whole skin cycling thing for yourself. I will say that on the days that I apply retinol, um, I do the retinol sandwich method, which I learned about also through some research. Um, I was trying to figure out a way to use retinol because it is so effective, but I have such dry, sensitive skin. And so what I do is I apply my nighttime moisture cream, which is this, and then I apply my pea-sized, just a pea-sized amount of the Differin. And then on top of that, I put more of this. Um, so it's just like sandwiched in between two layers of moisture and I haven't had any peeling or flaking or any problems. So there, that's the rundown of skin cycling. It is such a stunning, beautiful day. We decided to come out <laughs> to the lake. Right, Colin? Let the kids play in the sand and Nora likes to splash at the water's edge. It is like so peaceful and beautiful today. Just lovely. So we're enjoying it. Good morning and happy Tuesday. I have a delicious large coffee the size of my head that I'm sipping on this morning. The kids are, I don't know if you can see them, they're eating breakfast. Um, and watching Daniel Tiger. It's about 7.30, so we got some good sleep. Yesterday they slept in both until a little after seven and today it was around 6.30, which I will, anytime after 6 a.m. feels like a real hour. Like that's a legitimate time to wake up. 5 a.m. is not a real time for me to get up. That's just, it's too early. It's pitch black outside. It's just a hard no for me. Once it eases into 6 to 6.30, it's we're getting warmer. 6.45, we're really golden. 7 is, you know, platinum. <laughs> um, so anyway, it was great that they both got really good night's sleeps last night and the night before. I have my trainer this morning, so I'm going to drink some coffee, some water, eat some breakfast, get myself pulled together to go over there and get a good workout in. This lighting is terrible. I apologize. That's a little better. Here's Nor Nor. Nor, are you done with your breakfast? I did, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, so anyway, welcome to our Tuesday. I'm still waking up a little bit, but I did get good sleep, so I'm grateful for that. Hello, I got back from the gym a few minutes ago and just took a moment to freshen up a little bit. Um, it was a very hard workout this morning. I got there and my trainer was like, how do you feel about upping the intensity of today's workout? And I was like, I feel great about it. And in my brain, I'm thinking, what have we been doing for the past three weeks? <laughs> Um, and so we did up the intensity of the workout and it was really hard, but I feel really good. And um, it's just great. It's just, it's been so good for me. Um, I asked her, I said, I've had a few people because I've been sharing online that I am working with a trainer, ask me what exactly am I doing? And so I was asking her like, what, what would you consider what we do together? And she said, it's a mix of functional strength training and high intensity interval training that hit workouts. Um, she's like, we're doing a mix of those two things. Um, so lots and lots of strength training 
and lifting weights and she's especially focused on my upper body because of my lifestyle with two little kids i'm constantly loading strollers into the car or moving boxes for my business or picking up kids or you know all of that so it makes a lot of sense for me to have a strong upper body um but she does not neglect the legs because my legs are usually jello after i leave um and then some of that high intensity interval training um and she's incorporating that more and more and that is hard because your heart rate stays up and you know whatever so that is that if you're interested if you've been one of the people who's asked kind of like what exactly are you doing it changes every time but um I leave with a good workout every time. I think she's like the hardest trainer in the gym because there are some other trainers there and they're chatting with their clients and kind of just moseying around. And I'm not saying that they're not doing a great job or giving great workouts, but there's like not a lot of chatter. Like I am working hard for an hour, but that's exactly what I want. So I really, truly love it. Riley just left for work um, and I just put Colin down for his morning nap. He's so sweet. I cannot believe he's about to be one. By the time this video goes up, he will be officially one. And I can't believe it. Um, he's just a precious little squishy sweet boy. I just love him. Um, and Nornor is having a little snack right now. So I had a chance to sort of check in today. But we'll see what we get up to this afternoon. It was super nice going out to the lake beach yesterday just because it was such a gorgeous day. And so sitting out there and the kids playing and... Uh, that sunshine and vitamin C is like just, I mean, vitamin D is just so good. Um, so good for the kids and for all of our health and um, just all of it. So feels good. All right, I'm going to get a little bit of computer work done while I have the chance, um, while Nora's snacking and Colin's sleeping. Um, and then I'll probably go up and work this evening once Riley gets home, depending on what time he gets home. We also made the uh, Weight Watchers in pl my Plant to Eat account. It's called Weight Watchers Zero Point White Chicken Chili. I don't think it's actually zero points. I think that was in reference to the old plan, but I think it's still only like three points for like a big bowl of it. Any which way, it's definitely a very healthy recipe um, and delicious, delicious. We just made it a couple weeks ago and then I made it again yesterday. Um, and I'll probably have some here for lunch in the next couple of hours. Um, but it's just really so good. So I'll leave a link to the recipe below, or if you follow me on Plan to Eat, it's in there under Weight Watchers Zero Point White Chicken, White Chicken Chili. <laughs> I can't say that fast. Hey guys, it's a little after eight. I think it's like 8.06 p.m. or something, and we just got both of the kids down, and I just hopped in the shower and just took a really good body shower because I'll tell you why in a second. Well, I worked out this morning first and foremost, but then we did more this afternoon. So like I said earlier, my workout today was like a kicked up workout. And so I was thinking, oh, good grief. I'm going to be so tired this afternoon, but I was not. And I realized that if you remember, my trainer said that by the end of week three of consistently working out, I will start to feel energy from my workouts rather than feeling totally drained by them. And today was the beginning of week four. So I've completed week three and she was spot on. So I came home and I had a little breakfast, something. I don't even, I can't even think of what I ate. I guess it was more like lunch at that point. And, um, you know, got myself together for the day. Colin took his nap, all this and that. And then when he woke up from his nap and we did lunch, you know, for the kids, I was, I had all this energy built up and I couldn't believe it because I had just done the hardest workout that I've done yet. And so I um, loaded up the kids in the car with the stroller and we went over to the walking trail and we went and walked over two miles. And the thing was though, <laughs> I was just wearing sandals because I was just thinking, oh, I'll just, I'm sure I'm not going to be able to walk very far because I just did this hard workout and so I'll just spend, it's like 85 degrees outside, I'll just walk a little bit. Well, I got walking and I just, I could have kept going, but I was wearing sandals and I have like a big blister on the bottom of my foot. That was definitely not the wisest choice of footwear, but I just didn't even think I was gonna be doing that much. Um, and by that point I could feel that my body was hungry, but I really did not, I was not interested in food at all. Like I just didn't have an appetite. 
um, which I've been doing research into working out and a suppressed appetite because you would think it would be the opposite. But since I've been working out, I have had a lower appetite and there is actually like a, I don't know if it's a hormone or some kind of like chemical compound. I think it's a hormone that gets released when you work out hard that for some people is an appetite suppressant. Um, anyway, so I went to like a local smoothie shop and just got like a protein shake just for the, um, and that was like my afternoon snack and dinner. And then I ate like a little snack just now, but I just haven't been hungry today. Um, so it was a great day. It was so fun to go and work out like that. Um, and then go on a walk and the kids enjoyed the walk. Nora actually fell asleep. It was kind of over her nap time. So she slept and it was all good. Um, and so anyway, very good, very good, very good. I didn't even think about the fact that I was like, had completed week three and I was like into the zone of workouts being energizing until today when I was feeling so energetic this afternoon and I didn't hit that afternoon like slump at all. And I realized that that is why it's because we have hit that week three, um, also had like a total non-scale victory on Sunday when I was getting ready to go to church. I pulled on a pair of jeans and they were loose. So things are just the way I feel is motivating, but these like non-scale victories, like more energy and looser jeans are supremely motivating to me because it's a lot of work and it's worth it. So I just signed up for all of my sessions throughout the rest of October and early November, and I'm just gonna stick with this for as long as I feel like I need to. If I might be with it for six months, a year, five years, I don't know. We'll see You know how, it, how everything pans out, but um, it is such a worthwhile investment of time and resources for me right now, so I'm just grateful. I just saw um, on Netflix that there is a new show that I think is called The Empress and I love historical dramas and I think I'm going to go watch the first episode and see what I think. I'm going to get in bed early tonight because although I still am not really that tired <laughs> like, um, because I know I need to get some sleep before tomorrow but I wanted to do a little check-in because when we were on our walk, I thought, oh, I'll pull out my camera and I can chat while I'm pushing the stroller and kind of catch everybody up on my day. But I called my sister and I had my AirPods and I was just chatting with her. I ended up chatting with her the whole walk. So it, that was perfect. All right. I just went and got this. You don't care what, what I'm doing. My AirPods case was in the car, but my AirPods were inside. So I went out to the car to get the AirPods case so I can put the AirPods inside. Such an interesting story. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. I've got a big old coffee once again. This is my favorite cup. It's just from Walmart, but I love the like pink powder coating. And then I put a little, um, Disney monitor. I don't know, whatever. Disney monogram sticker that I think is supposed to be for, um, it's supposed to be for mag a magic band, I think, or something. I don't know. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Um, Colin got up this morning at a very crisp and early 4 a.m. He didn't even take a second nap yesterday. Well done. He didn't even take a second nap yesterday. He only took his morning nap um, because he's starting to get to where his afternoon nap is a little iffy with bedtime. So I don't know. He's just not, neither of my kids have ever been like amazing sleepers, but Nora's a lot better than him. <laughs> She's scootering this morning. Um, anyway, so I got up with him from about, I don't know, four-ish until seven-ish. And then I went in and Riley was asleep and I was like, well, you get up with him so I can just get like an hour or two of sleep before you go to work. Um, and he's so sweet. He let me sleep until 10. So I slept from seven until 10, which was a good way to like make up some of that sleep. Um, and I woke up out of like a very like deep sleep and I looked at the clock and I was like 955. I came out here. I was like, Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. You should have woken me up. And he's like, Oh, it's fine. It's fine. I was like, Oh, truly sleep is like the very greatest gift I could receive right now in life. It's 
it is amazing to get some sleep. Um, so I was really grateful for that because I feel great and I would have been dragging today. Um, so we have our sweet mother's helper coming this afternoon. She's been coming for the past few weeks and it's been working out so well. She loves it. We love it. The kids love it. It's just like such a great situation. Um, and I timed it last week where Colin took his, he did take an afternoon nap and he slept for part of the time while she was here. And that was really great because then she and Nora played and I was able to get a whole bunch of stuff done. So maybe we can plan that again since Colin went back down at 7am for his morning nap. Was it 7am? That boy. It's a good thing he is so stinking cute because he gives me a full out run for my <laughs> well, look who decided to join us today. Can we take your pass now? Oh. Colin, did you wake up at 4 a.m. to have a party? Oh, who's that sweet oh, potato? Oh, are you going to get the camera? Are you going to be one? Mommy, I'm cold. Mm. I'm cold. You're cold? Yeah. Oh, no. Would you like to go put on a sweatshirt? These are absolutely delicious. These are the sun gold kiwis. We have eaten a whole clamshell of them already. We got these Monday, it's Wednesday. They're just so amazing, so, so, so amazing. We got them from our Walmart grocery delivery, so highly, highly recommend. Um, and they're packed with vitamin C, apparently three times the vitamin C of an orange. Um, and they look just like this. They look like a kiwi, but the inside is a lighter yellow color. I guess they're called like golden kiwi. So good. Highly recommend. <laughs> I should have shown you this container before we ate them all, but the kids just have been eating them. Riley's been eating them and I've been eating them. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Good morning and happy Thursday. I'm sitting outside of my gym. I have training here in nine minutes. <laughs> um, Truly, there has not been a single time when I am coming up here to work out with my trainer that I've woken up and been excited about it, if I'm being honest. Every single time, I'm like, oh, I'm exhausted. I didn't get enough sleep last night. I have so much to do today. But every time I come, I am so glad that I did. So I'm holding on to that, where all I have to do is put on workout clothes, or today I'm wearing my spooky season shirt from my shop. Um, and show up. That's all I have to do is just show up and I can do that. And then I feel so good afterwards. I have so much more energy. I'm feeling really good. So it's like totally worth it for breakfast this morning. And a lot of mornings before I come and work out, I've been having a premier protein shake. I've talked about these a lot. This one is the cake batter flavor. It's really good. My very favorite flavor is the peanut butter chocolate chip flavor because it tastes to me like a Reese's milkshake. I love it. Um, I'm a very, very full day today, so I'm doing my training thing here for an hour, and she's upping the intensity, so it's a lot, but it's good for me. It's good for me. So doing that, then I'm zipping over to my office, and I have, like, a basket of dreams and a secondary basket of dreams. I've got all kinds of things going on because I'm going to go over there and freshen up, wash my face, put on some makeup, and change my clothes because I have a mentorship session um, about 30 or 45 minutes after I finish with training. So I will meet with my mentee and then I have a video that I need to film and um, I'm going to do that. And then I have Etsy work to do. So it's just like a very, very full day. We do have our nanny today, thank goodness, because I need some good work time. She's been away for a week and a half, so we haven't had her at all this week and we didn't have her at all last week. And um, I really rely on that time to get things done. So I'm going to head in now. I even made myself a delicious, you can't really see it, iced coffee that I haven't even had one sip of. And I put it in this container because this will keep it nice and fresh and cold while I go in there for an hour to the gym. So that when I come out, I have like a delicious, that's like my reward. <laughs> it's a delicious iced coffee. All right, let me gather myself up here, get inside. I'm going to do my little warm up um, that I'm supposed to do and then... I will talk to you guys in a little while. I didn't check in last night, but after dinner, I went up to my office um, for two to three hours or something. So that's partially why I was like a little dreadful waking up this morning because I worked really late last night. But this, you know, tis the season. It is what it is. 
we just tackle each day head on and then go from there. So I'm going to head inside. Hello, hello. It's, let's see, it's about 345 now and I actually need to be home by four today. So I got to get wrapped up, but I just finished filming a sponsored video for Lumino, which is non-toxic whitening products. And um, I'm hoping to do some more um, sponsored content on this channel, which I know for some people it's like, uh, but I promise it will be very seamless and naturally integrated. The back end of getting a sponsored video like filmed and approved and get your concept approved is like a bunch of work. It's like a lot of different little steps and I just haven't had the bandwidth to do that, but I feel like I'm getting to where I can. So every once in a while, I would like to start incorporating some sponsored content sprinkled in just because you just don't make very many dollars you doing YouTube, you just don't. And I feel like you have to have just like millions of subscribers and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of views to really see like worthwhile payouts. And I spend a lot of time on YouTube. So sponsor content allows it to continually make sense for me to make sense, no pun intended, make sense and make sense, C-E-N-T-S. Um, for me to continue to spend as much time as I do filming and editing for YouTube, if you know what I'm saying. So the amount of products or companies that I will work with is slim anyway. And then I will only say yes if I'm allowed to try it out and use it for two to four weeks minimum first. You know what I'm saying? So I'm very, very, very picky. Um, but I'm hoping that I can find some more companies to work with that really align with me and my channel and um, a lot of times, you know, the integration into a video is only a two minute integration. So two minutes of my video, and then it maybe could allow me to create some more videos. I'd like to, right now I average four videos a month. If there's four Sundays in a month, as you guys know, I'd like to get up to averaging about six. So two of the weeks having a second video. Um, and one of the ways that it would make sense for me to spend time on that would be some sponsored content. So that's kind of the behind the scenes financial look at things. Um, so if you see some sponsored content come up, that's why I promise I'm being super picky about it. And it's not, I am definitely not saying yes to every single one that comes my way. In fact, <laughs> like 0.0001%, um, which I think is the case for most YouTubers. I think most people are very picky because we've all worked so hard to build up our platforms and build up our channels. And we're not going to like sully it with a bunch of like nonsense sponsored content. So that's, those are all my thoughts on that. It's been a very productive day. I filmed that video. I had that great mentorship session. Um, I went out to lunch with Riley, um, got a lot of work done. I don't know, edited the video and submitted it for approval, which is a big, a big win. Here comes a fire truck. All right, I'm gonna head home so that I can see my kids, relieve the babysitter. But I just thought I would do a little brief check-in and I am wearing one of my autumn colors. <laughs> kind of can't believe I'm turning on the camera right now, but I just feel like these are the moments of life that matter the most. And one day, if my kids watch my videos back, I want them to see this. I just rocked Colin down. It's 8 o'clock. 8.02. I just nursed him and rocked him down to sleep. And I just held him and I just cried. Because my baby's gonna be one on Tuesday. And it has gone by so fast. And it's been such a hard year. Having two kids that are so close in age has just been not easy. But it's been so worth it and so sweet. And like, I think Colin's probably our last baby. And uh, it just goes so fast. And everyone says it goes so fast, and it truly does. Um, I'm like, he's gonna be one. He's gonna be one. I think even if I had 70 babies, <laughs> or like 10, probably is a little bit more realistic, I would always feel a sadness for not having more babies because Babies are just like, 
intoxicating. They're so sweet and precious. And I've never felt closer to heaven. I've never felt closer to God than the time, like everything about babies. <laughs> Finding out I was pregnant both times and watching my belly grow and hearing the heartbeats and birthing them in their like totally different births. I'm probably also really tired, but it's just like all of that. Like I've just never felt closer to heaven in my entire life. And there's something that's so I don't know, intoxicating is a good word and just like fulfilling and like almost addictive about it because it's just like, you just want that again. It's like the most incredible thing I've ever done in my entire life. So I don't really have any like eloquent way to like wrap that up, but just capturing how I'm feeling. I'm so grateful. I get to be their mom, and I can't believe that they're going to be one in three in the next few weeks. Oh my gosh, like, don't blink. Like, for real, don't blink. It goes by so fast. This time last year, I was just, like, huge and pregnant. And just, I was, what day is it? I was, like, five days past my due date right now. And I was just like waiting and waiting for him to come. And if you know his birth story, that when he decided to come, he came in like, you know, an hour. But I just had like a baby bump and I just like loved that little life inside of me, but I like didn't know anything about it. It was Colin. Like it was him. It's like such a weird, crazy thing. <laughs> I know there are other moms who understand this feeling. It's just like, motherhood is so overwhelming in like normal hard ways that are associated with overwhelming. And then like the am amazement of it, like the joy of it and like the beauty of it and like bringing new life and like a new soul into the world. It's like so overwhelming in like the very best way. Oh, and they just become their little people. And Nora has, like, the best personality. She's so fun. And she's, like, my little buddy. And I just, like, love spending time with her. And, like, she grew in my belly. And I, like, pushed her out of my body. And now she's, like, in the world. It's, like, the... It just... It's a lot. In the best way. So, tomorrow I'm also feeling super emotional. Because... <laughs> Tomorrow morning, we are going to our photographer's studio and doing Colin's one-year cake smash photos. So she'll take, like, some photos of him and then take some photos of him smashing his cake and then take some photos of him, like, afterwards. And I'm a mess. I just can't wait. I think it's going to be so cute. But it's also, like, he's, he's turning one. That's why we're doing this. Unbelievable. Life is crazy <laughs> time is a thief <laughs> um I don't know there's nothing eloquent I love being a mom it fills me with feelings I've never felt before <laughs> that's all I have to say what are we doing put together this oh it's so cute cottage for no no are we going to give it to her, like, soon? I mean, I'd wake her up when we're finished. Her, but... Oh, that would be fun. We've been working for maybe 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. And we're almost done. We're just adding a few more final touches. But it really was not hard to put together at all. And the instructions were clear and all the pieces. It it's looks so alphabetical. Cool. I like that a lot. The little door. It's going to be really, really cute. We just have a couple more pieces to put on and then... It'll be all done. Look at that. Oh, that's so cute. And the little conservatory over here. Excuse me here. It's really sweet. Oh, look at it. So sweet. 
It's a really, really cute dollhouse. Some step it on toys. Really cute. We just finished it and we decided to sign the bottom of it and say to our Nornor on your third birthday, we love you forever. Love daddy and mommy. So that when we are dead and gone and her grandchildren are in her house playing with this dollhouse, they can remember many years ago when we made it. So I think we're going to go put it in the guest room and I'm probably going to put the little calico critter stuff in it because I'm just so eager to see how it all fits. And then we're going to put a big blanket over it. She never goes in the guest room anyway. So we'll put a big blanket over it and uh, store it away and we're going to decide when, we gonna, when we're going to give it to her. Um, we're definitely giving it to her before her birthday because we're going to be out of town on her actual birthday and we're clearly not bringing this. But I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do. It's really cute. It's so cute. It's like just what I was hoping for. I want to get like a cute little wreath for the front door. You know, little lights for Christmas yeah. lights? Yeah. Like oh, I love that idea. Okay. Let's go put it in the guest room and see what it looks like with all the little calico critter stuff in it. Okay, so I'm in the guest room right now. We just moved the dollhouse in here. And here's all the Calico Critter stuff I got. I really went nuts and got everything that I wanted to fill out the dollhouse. So we have the kitchen set, the kitchen island, the little triplets, some beds, a nursery set, um, the grandparent, the bunny grandparents, and then the bunny family. I liked it because it has a little boy and a little girl like our family. And then I showed you this, the dining room set, the living room set, the bathroom set, and then the stroller for the triplets. So I'm gonna set it all up and show you. I cannot wait, I'm so excited. goodness we just finished furnishing it so upstairs we have the nursery for the triplet cats <laughs> what's this Look, it comes with the cutest little tiny things there's a space in the freezer but for right now it's put it there so that's kind of the attic is kind of the nursery area and then I made this little behind the stairs area the bathroom. And then we just have a kind of like a free zone. And I pulled out the other stairs here um, because we had quite a few little kitchen pieces and I wanted them to all fit. And they, they oh my gosh, they come with like, you can't even imagine, little eggs and little water bottles and little milk cartons and just everything in the world. Um, it's so cute. And all of those little drawers back there have things in them. And then there's Grammy <laughs> sitting at the table with like little croissants or something. And then that's the grandpa. He's in the sitting room, which is like the conservatory. And then I couldn't find like a double bed. So I just got um, a set of bunk beds and then just like a single bed. I mean, she doesn't care, but I wanted like a double bed for the parents. <laughs> but I'm like, whatever, it doesn't really, doesn't really matter. But it's really, really, really cute. Now, Calico Critters comes with 80 trillion itty, itty, bitty pieces. Like you can't even imagine how many, every little set. So we are going to, well, what's this? Oh, that's cute. We, let's see, where can I put that? How about up here? Super cute up there. We're going to take away some of, like, I don't think this is a good idea. Not because Nora will eat it, but because she she may lose it and Colin would eat it. And so um, I think we'll just leave out, like, maybe, like, this bigger, like, toilet paper roll or something like that. Um... I don't know, we haven't decided yet, but I think we are going to take away some of the itty-bitty pieces because she'll love the general idea of it, so. 
<laughs> we've been at this for a couple of hours now, but it's been a fun project. So we're going to put a huge blanket over this and keep the door closed and um, she won't see it. And then we'll decide when we want to give it to her. And I will definitely have to capture her reaction on camera and I'll show you guys that at that point. Good morning and happy Friday from me and this little Bubba. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> um, he got up around, I don't know, maybe 5.30 or 6 today? Is that when you got up? But we are all dressed. He's got his cute little outfit on. And um, Nora, come here. Nora looks adorable too. And uh, we're going to our photographer studio to do Colin's first birthday cake smash. You're gonna kill it, buddy. I just know you are. When we gave Nora her smash cake on her first birthday, um, she would not eat it until we gave her a fork. <laughs> she was always been just like so dainty. And once we gave her a fork, she would like dip the fork into the cake icing and she would eat it that way. I have a feeling this one is gonna go in head first. Yeah, I think you're gonna go in head first. Um, so anyway, I will film a little bit while we are there if I can because it's gonna be really cute. I can't wait. I can't wait. So we're gonna go drive down there and uh, yeah, it's a little before eight and our appointment is at nine. So we're gonna leave here in the next about 10 minutes. Hi. Hi. I see you. Next up is Colin's cake smash, but Nora asked if she could get a picture. Nora! Nora, look at the camera, look at the dog. Nora, say. Thank you, Nora. but not yet. It's Bubba's turn first, okay? Because it's his birthday. Wait. Hey, Nora, what are you doing? Eating cake. You're eating a cake? Is it good? <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's a lot of cake. <laughs> That's a lot of cake. I don't think I have shown you this. We just got back from the cake smash. I'll talk about that in a second. But we got this rug. I absolutely love it. It looks so pretty back here. Clearly I couldn't be bothered to like pick up the space. And we are using that um, cabinet as our TV console. And we did get, we got new curtains. They are like a really pretty taupey velvet. Really pretty, love them. Can you see them? It's always hard to show stuff like this to get the right color and texture. Um, and then we got a gorgeous mirror, which I'll show you in a second, but it's not hung up yet. Riley has to go get special hardware because it's very heavy, um, but it's beautiful. I love it. It's a big arch. So let me show you that. So here is the mirror. It's in the guest room and I don't really want to pull it out because it's so heavy, but you can kind of get an idea for it. It's a black arch. If it is hung by the time I edit this video to post it, I will pop in a picture so you can see what it looks like. But we already like propped it up on the mantle and it looks gorgeous. Well, hello, Mr. Mr. Cake Smash Boy. Did you have fun? Sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay, we had such a good time at Colin's Cake Smash. That photographer, Natasha, she is just so wonderful. I will leave a link to Let There Be Light. Charlie, you need to go outside? Come on. Um, I will leave a link to her below if you are in the greater Dallas area. She is fantastic. Um, 
just wonderful. She's so good. She's efficient. She knows what she's doing. And we always get incredible, incredible shots from her. So it's perfect. So this weekend, we don't have any big plans. There is a fall festival here in town tomorrow. So we will most likely go to that for a few hours, especially because the weather is supposed to be gorgeous. I think the high is like 73 or something. So it'll be really nice and, you know, cool on the cooler spectrum of things because it's been just very hot. Um, although lately it's been mild. Over the past few months it's been very hot. In the past couple of weeks it's been nice. I have like a big oversized comfy sweatshirt on today. It's like a little bit overcast and it feels so good. I'm so ready for fall. I am going to go ahead and wrap up this vlog here. Thank you so much for following along with us this week. I hope you enjoyed it. The highs and lows, the crying about motherhood and the cute photo shoots just and everything in between. Um, I will link the dollhouse and all of the accessories for it below if you are interested in buying that for a cute little one in your life for their birthday or for the holiday season or whatever. Um, we have not decided when exactly we're going to give it to her. I think I've already mentioned that 17 times because it's like on my mind because I really want to give it to her like right now. But I also, that's her one and only birthday gift because it's it's a big one so we're just trying to figure out exactly what that's going to look like um I think if I had to guess we'll probably give it to her like the weekend before her birthday um but I could see us just giving it to her this weekend it's like it's October it's your birthday month <laughs> enjoy um but either which way I will make sure to film it because I'm excited um I'm excited to have that footage for my own memory and my own sake as well because she's just going to be so thrilled. I just can't even wait. Can't wait. I will leave links to everything else that I mentioned in this vlog below. And also remember that both my fall line and my holiday line on Etsy are both fully live right now. Great place to grab gifts for friends and family, sisters, mothers, aunts, cousins, like anyone really great place for gifts. So I'll leave a link to all of that below. Make sure to go and check out the one of the reasons, there's a couple of reasons, but one of the reasons why we launched both fall and holiday so early in the year is because the stock has been really good or it was really good at the time of launch. Over the past few weeks, we're starting to see the stock get super dicey again. So I highly recommend that you get in your order sooner than later because I'm going to have to start marking things as unavailable on the site pretty soon because it's starting to get lower and dwindling and dwindling, which is why we wanted to launch early so that the bulk of my customers could get exactly what they're after. Um, also remember to subscribe to me on Instagram. I share behind the scenes content almost every single day. Um, I post stories, day in the life. I share what's coming up on YouTube. I share about upcoming Disney stuff, all kinds of stuff. So you're going to want to subscribe to me there. If you'd like some more content, um, you just go to my Instagram, which is at Blair Blogs, and there's a button that says subscribe, and you click on it, and it's $4.99 a month, and I think it will be very well worth your $4.99 a month, like one latte, and you get all kinds of more content. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this week. I will see you next Sunday. Have a wonderful week.